The moment you've all been waiting for. Has my base been raided? And yes. Somebody raided the freaking boat garage and stole my boat. Yeah, they didn't actually raid the main part where all my loot is. Uh, my other base is over here. As you can see, I got two bases. I'm living on an island this wipe, guys. This is my other base. Right, I'm just going to quickly do some farming and upgrade this base a little bit because it needs some major base upgrading. Quick time. <laughs> Instead of using the garage that got raided, I'm going to make uh, this, I'm going to put an extension on this space right here that's going to be a garage. So I'm not going to use the garage that got raided. I'm going to put an extension on this base, which will have a new garage. <laughs> Bam! There we go, boys. We have now got a garage connected to our main base. I'm, I'm hoping that this is going to be low enough for the boat to come inside. Really, I'm hoping that. Um, we'll find out, I guess, when I go and get a boat in a minute. But hopefully, we should be good. Boats are a lot harder to find now than they were on wipe day. And the reason for that is because once you've got a garage and you've stored your boat inside that garage, it's no longer going to respawn. And there's only a limited amount of boats on each server. So if you store away your garage, you're essentially taking one of those limited boats from the server. And until you get raided or until your boat despawns because it breaks or whatever, you're going to have that boat forever on the wipe. So it's very hard to find boats on Rusted by DU main. Hopefully there'll still be some available though. I just need one. <laughs> there must be one somewhere. I think I see a boat in the distance over there. Okay, hold the phone. Massive clan right next to me. <laughs> All right, let's jump on this and get the hell out of here. We've got a boat. Hopefully we don't lose this one. We're gonna keep this safely stored inside. Also, um, oh shit, oh shit. Okay. Okay, we didn't get a boat. Let's try that again. There's two people outside my base right now. And they're raiding me. I'm getting a Yoka raided. It's they're getting countered by a guy with a semi rifle. Killed him. Got a flamethrower. Quick, 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 quick. Oh my god. What the hell's going on? Wait. I need to store away some of this loot. I'm gonna go and loot all the rest of this shit in a sec. Just wait, just wait, just wait. Storing away all this. Bam, 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 bam. What the hell's going on here? I got no clue. Give me that crossbow. Bam, get in the boat. Okay, let's park this inside. Oh my god, what is going on right now? Quick, 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 quick. Yes! What the hell? The guys that were raiding me got counted and I freaking killed the guy. I got all this loot. Okay, wait. Woo! All right, this is fucked up. They're back now. They've come back. Awesome. Thanks for the free loot. We got a flamethrower as well. Hell yeah. These guys are probably going to try and raid me again. I'm going to take the rifle. Um, and I'm going to, if they do try and raid me, I'm going to fuck them up. 
Big freaking time. Holy shit, that was insane. I went out there at the perfect moment, man. All right, so I, before I take my boat out, I'm going to heal up a bit. I'm on too low HP at the moment. I'm going to go to the river, the local river over here. There is fresh pumpkins usually. Somebody's getting a yoka raided just up here. Fresh pumpkin right here. Oh my god. Wow, I'm a guy with a crossbow and you're using an AK on me. Absolutely incredible. You should be so proud of yourself, boys. Hello. Hey, anyone there? I'm just like, you know, I live there, wondering if you want to be allies. Hello. Do you have a mic? Um, can you use it? <laughs> Why? So, so it just type in chat again. Um, can, 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 can we roam on your boat? You know, I'm, uh, I've been wanting to try the boat. I was wondering if I could join you on an adventure. I saw your boat base. Shall I, shall I team just, up with this guy? I was wondering if you wanted to roam on that boat, you know? If you have one. Do you have a boat? Yo, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can. What's up? You know who I am, Kiwi. Don't, act like, don't act like you're not a fucking stream sniper, boy. Let's go. Um, nah, I don't know you on YouTube, I assure you. I've never okay, heard of Okay, cool. Because that's why you're asleep outside my base when I logged on this one, in eh? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, basically, I, I kind of, you know, I followed your video. You know, I had a base over at G17, and then I had a base here, but then my group decided to move to I-20 and live at the lighthouse. There's a massive clan on this island. They've all got AKs. They live over there, so I just died. Oh yeah, um, there, there's a friendly one though. If you you can yeah. team up with one of them, in fact, like really? they, they just need satchels and they're off to raid the clan. It's all in age. They one of the groups is research. friendly and they're gonna try and raid the clan, right? Yeah. Where does where does the, where yeah. does the, dude, um, where does the they friendly just need group to live? research satchels? That's the only problem. Where does the friendly group live? Okay. You might get shot though. I'll just warn yeah, you. Yeah, try and avoid the clan. And nice research table you got that. Yeah. Da, da, da. Hello, how's it going? Neighbors. Hello. You guys are literally... I don't Do you live nearby? Yeah, I live in that base that you tried to raid earlier with an Eoka pistol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we're trying to get the boat. Yeah, I have a boat. I have a boat, boys. You can I buy was it. gonna raid it as well. You didn't realize I was thinking of raiding it. Well, wait, do you have a. We all want boats here. Wait, a bo boats are quite rare now, aren't they? Because, like, everybody's taking them now. Yeah, yeah maximum 64 in game. <laughs> you guys want my boat, don't you? Listen, I'll, I'll sell it you, right? For 40,000 stone. That's a pretty good deal. Four hundred thousand stone. Yeah, that's. Oh, the cow, no boy. I, I can. I have another price. I, have I can bring it. I can bring it down to thirty-nine thousand, but that's pushing it, dude. Look, I, I can give you one stone. That's a good price. One stone. Okay, no. Yes. Guys, you want to know something funny? I can give you two sulfur as we well, freshly mined. Wait a sec, boys. Before you guys were oh, raiding no, me. Mine now. You guys were raiding me, and there was a there was a guy on a boat yeah, that was yeah, shooting yeah. at you, right? There was a guy on a boat that was shooting you. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, well, I went outside my base, and that guy on the boat was right outside my base, and you guys were dead. I took some of your loot, and then I, I took his boat. So, like, what happened? Yeah, uh -huh. uh, he, we, we shot him several times, and then he killed us. He killed and, you? Uh, ah. Then, Luke here, come back. I stole his boat, boys. I stole his boat, lad. Okay, well, look, we're, we're allies. Don't raid me, okay? I might sell you my boat. Yeah, yeah. great. 10,000 wood. Allies. No, 10,000 stone. Right, I've took the wooden door off there, put the sheet metal door on there so it's easier for us. So we won't get a yoker raided either, which is good. Okay, there's a base right next to me. <clears throat> I don't know who lives here, um, but... I am going to raid them. Don't want to lose this flamethrower, so we need to make sure that we don't die because I really want to research it. But I'm going to go around the island and see if there's any wooden bases that are worthy of being raided. So hopefully we can get some scrap to help us research some of these weapons that we got as well. That would be nice. All right, let's go, boys.
I just love how quick it is to do these raids. You know, when you're a Yoka raiding somebody, it takes like 20 minutes. <laughs> With a flamethrower, you can do it in like a minute. We're almost in, so now we just kind of tap this. There we go. All right, let's see what's inside. Probably a sheet metal door. Yeah, there's a sheet metal door. Well, screw you, whoever lives there. All these bases have sheet metal doors on. Well, screw it. We're going to raid him, actually. <laughs> Why not? All right, we're in. We're in this one by one. <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. There's actually decent loot in here that I could actually use. There's a med syringe, two of them that I want to research. Might sound weird, but raiding a one by one was actually worth it. Man, I've got so much stuff I need to research. I need to research the flamethrower. I need to research the semi-rifle. I need to research the revolver. We've got a lot of researching to do in the next video, that is for sure. Wait a sec, boys. There is another base over here, hold on. Half made out of wood and half made out of stone. What the hell is this? We could, I might, yes, I might raid this guy actually. Kind of risky though, because there's, this guy's more in the open and there's like massive clans right next to me. I want to raid a decent base, not just a one by one. Let's put some gear on as well. Flamethrower. I'm taking over, I'm taking a hundred low grade with me. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, let's go. How much HP? 170. Okay, final door for this guy's base. Sorry for raiding you, bro. It's got to be done. Let's see what this guy's got inside his base. He's got to wait for the fire to go. Okay. And there's 68 low grade, 500 sulfur, and some other bits and bobs. Thanks a lot, dude. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. Super fun episode today. Uh, we got to meet some of the neighbors, which was nice. And it was really clutch moment outside my base. And I managed to get myself a boat. So can't complain there. Sorry that this episode is so short. But I just want to say that tomorrow's episode is really freaking good. Um, I went deep on a Russian. He was insanely rich. And I won't say much more than that. But basically, I'm really, really excited for you guys to see tomorrow's episode. It's been a long time since some something lucky has actually happened to me on Rust. And tomorrow's episode is literally the definition of luckiness. So really, really excited for you guys to see tomorrow's episode. And uh, yes, it'll come out, to, uh, definitely come out tomorrow, probably around the same time that this video comes out today. So stay tuned for that, boys. Really excited for you guys to see that episode. Hope you're all enjoying the series. It's gone on for a while now and I'm trying to upload more videos. So thank you for everybody that's been watching the series. Hope you're all enjoying it. Really do appreciate the support, guys. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Have a good one, everybody. Peace.